guys, it's a Saturday and I have training. So I'm gonna take you through some of the things that I do before, after and during training, along with some advice, nutrition, things like that. Just kind of the things that I wish were around when I was first getting into sport and athletics. So I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you soon. Just starting off with some light jogs to increase my heart rate and get some blood flow, followed by some dynamic stretches to activate the stretch reflex. And we've also got some more dynamic ones here. Had a bit of a hamstring niggle, so we just wanted to make sure they're warmed up before I start the drills and everything. Now opening and closing the gate, really good for my lower back. Just loosening the muscles around there. Now for some proprioceptive ankle exercises, so I'm holding at the top for as long as I can and lowering down, followed by some pogo jumps. And now we've got isometric holds on the wall, which works the Achilles tendon as well as your calf muscles, hip flexors, preparing them for the intense session that we have. So the session is going to comprise of some downhill drills and running down the hill on a concrete path that we found, followed by some runs on the track and finishing off with some pliers. So the first drill that we have is scissor bounce down a gradient, as you can see. Next we have alternate leg pulls, pull throughs, really working the hamstring uh, recovery. So now I'm going to put on these carbon plated shoes, which allow me to be on my forefoot for the next couple of drills. This guy is really good at watching his videos. <laughs> That's my coach, John Shepard. Make sure to check out his channel. Really, really good advice he gives. Now we're going to do some takeoff drills down the gradient, making sure we're going at more of a flat angle, followed by runs again down the gradient. So now we've got runs on the flat and there has been some research that's shown that running on a gradient followed by running on flat boosts your speed and it's called potentiation. Now we've got some eccentric takeoffs working on lengthening that muscle before before taking off and again you know just really emphasizing the hip swing as well getting more height. Here's my friend Jay doing now a reach. triple jump alternative just basically bounding off the off the box. It's an eccentric, again, an eccentric drill. And now I'm just ending on some RDLs. I had a little bit of a hamstring niggle in this session, so I needed to do my rehab work and some hip thrusts as well. Holding at the top for five seconds. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, that was a day of training, a typical day of training on a Saturday for me. So I'll see you guys in the next video.